Texas Coast Electric Power Association, Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Farm Bureau Insurance Company, Encore Rehabilitation and Bienville Orthopedic Sports Medicine, Machado Patano Architecture and Engineering, SMB Contracting, JW Pocket Construction, Oscar Health System, the Hancock Hawk Foundation, and Moran Holland. We'd like to thank each and every one of you. We're not going to be able to get all of our sponsors out, but we have so many. We'd like to thank each and every one of them. All right, here we go. The Brazil play first and ten Hancock. DeLong on the carry, right off the right side of that offensive line, gets good yardage, pick up of about four yards off the play, second down six, Hancock.
to stop. And met immediately by Hancock. Pass play is put up for another first down for Pascadula. in the first row. Pass a good up, 14. Good enough for some positive yardage. 
inside the marker. Second down nine for a half down. Thank 
This is caught by number five, brought down by number 27, Jeffrey Hopgood. Pitching catch is good enough for our first down for our Pensco goal line. Ball resting at the Hancock 40 yard line. is caught in the end zone. Touchdown, pass to good one. Kramer's kick is up, and it's good.
Ừ, ừ. Mississippi Gulf Coast. Make that short drive to Picayune and you'll be glad you did. Whether it's a new or used trailer, fifth wheel, or motorhome, Pawpaw's Campers has you covered. Check out Pawpaw's inventory at rvbestprice.com. That's rvbestprice.com. Pawpaw's Campers, having fun, selling fun. Pawpaw's Campers and Cars, that's all you need to know. Great service, great price now, isn't that nice? You're gonna love the way we deal. Our Paws Camper City and Big Guy <laughs> Yeah, boy! Yes, sir, yes, ma'am. You're gonna love the way we You can say goodbye to the guesswork. We make it easy as one, two, three. When you come by Pawpaw's Camper City for a trailer or RV. Hey, friends, Pawpaw's Campers in Picayune is not that far from where you are. Only 35 minutes from the Hattiesburg Pine Belt area and the Mississippi Gulf Coast. Make that short drive to Picayune and you'll be glad you did. Whether it's a new or used trailer, fifth wheel, or motorhome, Pawpaw's Campers has you covered. Check out Pawpaw's inventory at rvbestprice.com. That's rvbestprice.com. Pawpaw's Campers, having fun, selling fun. Pawpaw's Campers and Cars, that's all you need to know. Great service, great price, now isn't that nice? You're going to love the way we deal. Pawpaw's Campers, City and Picayune. Yeah, boy. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. You're going to love the way we deal. You can say goodbye to the guesswork. We make it easy as one, two, three. When you come by Pawpaw's Camper City for a trailer or RV. Hey, friends, Pawpaw's Campers in Picayune is not that far from where you are. Only 35 minutes from the Hattiesburg Pine Belt area and the Mississippi Gulf Coast. Make that short drive to Picayune and you'll be glad you did. Whether it's a new or used trailer, fifth wheel, or motorhome, Pawpaw's Campers has you covered. Check out Pawpaw's inventory at rvbestprice.com. That's rvbestprice.com. Pawpaw's campers, having fun, selling fun. Pawpaw's campers and cars, that's all you need to know. Great service, great price now, isn't that nice? You're going to love the way we deal. Pawpaw's camper city and pick a youth. Yeah, boy. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. You're going to love the way we deal. All right, welcome back, Hawk fans. This is Aaron Underwood. This is Andre Underwood. Bringing it to you live here in Kill, Mississippi at Brett Favre Field, where your Hancock Hawks trail 21-0 to the Pascagoula Panthers. Little halftime stats. Uh, got the commercials working, so I'm going to run some halftime stats and get these commercials caught up for the, the people that paid for the commercials to be played. You know, I want to apologize. I, I think something has to do, Gary, when you re-listen to this. I couldn't get the update on the phone, but I think that might have something to do with the update popping up. So, Dylan Moran, 6 of 10, only 33 yards. Uh, no touchdowns, no interceptions. Zach Galong, 7 rushes for 19 yards. Leading rusher on the night is uh, senior Destin Flash Coleman with 5 carries for 33 yards. Uh, Mason Kramer, 1 carry, 7 yards. Jeffrey Hopgood, 1 carry for minus 1. And Dylan Moore ran two carries for three yards. Receiving, we got Neil Acker, one reception for six yards. Leading receiver on the night so far is Tanner Ladner, uh, two for 20, two catches for 20. Destin Coleman, eight-yard reception. 
uh, Braxton Johnson, one catch for minus three, and then Zach Galong, one catch for two. Um, Dre, like we were saying, uh, you know, yes, we made the playoffs. But what does that mean when you go into the playoffs on a two-game losing streak? Yeah, that's not the way I would want to go to the playoffs, you know. I'd want to go there with a chip on my shoulder, my head held high, and on a winning streak, come in there on a good note, not a bad one. Uh, you know, Moran, 6 of 10 on the night, that's 60%. That's over his uh, his season average, which is around like 51, 52%, if I remember correctly. And, uh, I, you know, like I was saying, you know, uh, more than likely we were probably going to have to travel to Brandon two and a half hours away, right? Um it seems like last week Biloxi had us had our number. It seemed like they knew the plays we were running by the formation we lined up in. And it seems like Pascagoula did their homework as well. Um, throw it 40, 50 times the second half. Throw it 40 times, Dre. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, that way Brandon, you know. They're not just expecting run, run, run. Exactly. Right? They got to prepare for the pass, the passing game. And, hey, look, you're down 21-0. Um, you're pretty much in um, passing situations as it is because when you run the ball, the clock's gonna just gonna keep running. Um, so if I'm the if I'm the offensive coordinator, if I'm Jeffrey Hopgood, I'm going into the second half and I'm saying, "Hey, how's y'all? Yeah, you threw it ten times in the first half. You're about to throw it forty more. That's what that that would be my game plan. And you know, you play some good defense. You don't know. You might you might strike gold on uh, some of them pass plays, and then you play some good defense and. Uh, you could be be right back into this game. You know, Hawks down by three scores, twenty-one to zero. Um, but just like just like the, the game of football, right? Um, overheard the Pascagoula coaches saying, "Hey, you know, they can come back and get us. You know, we've laid some eggs in the second half, so that could very well happen. Just like we score, uh, they score twenty-one on us in the first half. You got a whole another half. Yeah, right? it could be a whole you know brand new ball game in the second half. Right, Hancock can shut them out, and they score twenty one, and we play in overtime. Or uh, Hancock can score twenty eight, and this game can be twenty eight twenty one. It can go either way. Uh, but you know, as of right now, the Hawks trail twenty one zero, and uh, we'll be right back after these messages. Physical therapy has evolved into specialized care for patients suffering from Parkinson's disease. Dr. Jameson Dodd with Dodd Therapy Center in Pickingham is LSVT Big certified for treatment of Parkinson's disease. LSVT Big trains people with Parkinson's to use their body more normally and improve movements for any activity, whether small motor tasks like buttoning a shirt or large motor tasks like getting up from a sofa or chair or maintaining balance while walking. Give Dodd Therapy Center a call today at 769-242-2636 or stop by at 405 Memorial Boulevard in Picayune. Silence. Silence is what fills us all with a binding eternal link. Katie Fulon, Director of Infection Prevention, Highland Community Hospital. One of the best ways to prevent the spread of germs and keep you and your family safe is also one of the easiest by washing your hands. According to the CDC, you should wash your hands before eating, after playing outside, after coughing, sneezing, or blowing your nose, after using the restroom, or anytime your hands are visibly soiled. Highland Community Hospital. For more information, go to highlandch.com. Craving a breakfast toaster or French toast sticks? Make it a meal and step up your breakfast with Tots and a cold beverage. Sonic Drive-In has the perfect portable breakfast, and it's the perfect way to start your day. And at Sonic Drive-In in Picayune, you can stop by any time because breakfast is served all day. Sonic Drive-In of Picayune on Highway 11, just north of Highway 43 North. Start your day Sonic style with happy eating at its best. That's what you get at Sonic Drive-In of Piggy. Destination delicious. When it comes to protecting what you love, you want an insurance agent that cares more. Cares more about your world more about what you need. And that's exactly what you'll get with Picky and Allstate agent Jason Pivot. An agent who doesn't just know what it's like to live in Picky, but one who wants to protect life here as much as you do. Contact him for your free call today. Allstate, you're in good hands. Allstate offer lets you for all insurance and including all the reports and conditions. Allstate property and cash for the insurance company. 
River Community College has been providing a quality education to the people of South Mississippi and beyond for the past 110 years. If you or a family member is an alumnus of this great institution, we invite you to support future PRCC students through the PRCC Foundation Scholarship Program. Honor or memorialize a love. You know they'll treat you right. Choose from any one of their car washes. Sign up for their monthly wash club starting as low as $20.99. Why do it yourself when you can let First Place Express Car Wash do it for you? When you want the best seafood and steaks, there's only one place that consistently does it right. And that's Dempsey's Seafood and Steak in the Kill. Diane and her crew are consistently serving up a great dining experience with their signature Cajun flair. Dempsey's has raw and charred grilled oysters and the best steaks in the area. Dempsey's is now open Wednesday through Sunday for lunch, and dinner is available Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Treat yourself to Dempsey's Seafood and Steak on Kill the Lil Road in the Kill. First Southern Bank believes that banking should be personal and convenient, and that's exactly the type of service you will receive at First Southern Bank. Open your account at First Southern Bank at 1321 Highway 43 North in Picayune, and you can experience a true hometown banking experience. First Southern Bank is personal enough to handle all your banking needs and big enough to handle all your mortgage needs. Convenient locations, personal friendly service, and mortgage experts. That's First Southern Bank, true hometown banking at its best. This hunting season, hurry to Dixieland Home Farm and Garden for the gear to get you closer. All outdoorsmen know that success begins with preparation, knowing what to plant and when to plant. And Dixieland offers soil testing, plot mixes, and fertilizer. And they have a large variety of sporting goods, ammunition and targets, summit and millennium stands, scent control and ground blinds, and now hunting and fishing licenses. For great deals and friendly service, it's Dixieland Home Farm and Garden, Highway 603 in the Kill, just north of Rocky Hill Dito Road. Open every day, 8 till 6. Find us on Facebook. Physical therapy has evolved into specialized care for patients suffering from... Get back in the game with Dodd Therapy Center. Jamison Dodd, a former college athlete, has the specialties, understanding, and experience to get your athlete back in the game, including indoor turf, hyphomat, blood flow restriction, trigger point dry needling, and much more. Dr. Dodd and Dodd Therapy Center also specialize in treating Parkinson's disease and other neurological disorders. Give Dodd Therapy Center a call at 769-242-2636 or visit us at 405 Memorial Boulevard in Picayune and get back in the game. Bree Turner, Director of Labor and Delivery, Highland Community Hospital. Here at Highland, we love to serve our community. Our swing bed program is one of the ways that we do that. Our swing bed program enables us to provide high quality nursing care around the clock, while also offering services such as occupational and physical therapy at a higher level of intensity than can be received in the acute setting. Highland Community Hospital, here when you need us most. For more information, go to highlandch.org. Craving a breakfast toaster or French toast stick? Make it a meal and step up your breakfast with Todd's in a cold beverage. Sonic Drive-In has the perfect portable breakfast, and it's the perfect way to start your day. And at Sonic Drive-In in Picayune, you can stop by any time because breakfast is served all day. Sonic Drive-In of Picayune on Highway 11, just north of Highway 43 North. Start your day Sonic style with happy eating at its best. That's what you get at Sonic Drive-In of Picayune. Destination delicious. When you're paying the right price for protection, you just know it. And when it comes to your insurance, there's no one better at getting you the right price for your protection like picking an Allstate agent, Jason Pigan, because he knows that when it comes to your bank account, every penny counts towards something bigger, something better, like a nicer car, that home update you've been dreaming of, or a phone that's fresh out the box. And Jason Pigan wants to help you get you the coverage you need and the savings you deserve when you switch to Allstate. Contact him for your free quote today. Allstate, you're in good hands. Savings vary based on the average annual savings reported by new auto customers. Surveyed in 2019 to Swiss to Allstate. Allstate Property and Casualty Insurance Company. 
All right, welcome back, Hawk fans. This is Aaron Underwood. This is Andre Underwood. Bringing it to you live here at Brett Favre Field in Kill, Mississippi, where your Hawks tread the Pascagoula Panthers 21-0. And that was a performance by the, if you're watching on YouTube, um, a performance by the Pride of Hancock, the Hancock Marching Band, who Dre got first place at the University of South Alabama uh, little uh, band competition competition they had thank you i was thinking of the word i was going to say tournament <laughs> but it was a band competition and they got first place overall out of like uh i want to say like eight teams nine teams something like that and um did very well out there uh, beat teams from uh that was from alabama beat teams from the coast beat teams that were uh out of florida so you know it wasn't just uh a state thing it was a uh, you know university of south alabama competition um and hancock showed up well and, and they got the biggest trophy that was uh, available so congrats to them yeah hats off to them you know they put in a lot of hard work too they you know they they have summer camps as well where they go through uh you know a little uh training or whatever where they get their little uh steps down and all that the formations and all that so you know they put in the work as well uh they're not they're not uh crashing into each other with pads and all like the football players but you know you you got to give them uh the credit where the credit's due and it obviously paid off by them getting first place in the uh the south out of the university of south alabama uh, band competition so uh about to start the second half here uh you know, happy, um, Dre. I'm gonna have to take some pictures or, or, or something on how everything is because I don't think anything changed. I just think uh, I'm trying to. I'm running into my head what I what I could have did wrong for the commercials not to work right um, during the first half. But you know, hopefully I got them uh, all caught up there during halftime. Uh, we was able to give you some halftime stats uh, again. The Pascagoula Panthers up 21-0 here in Kill, Mississippi, at Brett Far Field and are, are receiving the uh, second-half kick. So uh, Hancock's going to have to come out in the second half, and they're going to – it's, you know, now or nothing, Dre. Yeah, they're going to have to, you know, come out, I'd say, a little fired up and wanting to get back in this game. What do you think they got to do to get in the second half? Uh, get it going in the second half, Dre? Well, uh, first off, you know, with Pascagoula getting the ball, um, they're gonna have to get a stop on defense and immediately. Then, immediately, right? Yeah, it's it can't be any any big plays given up at all. It has to be three and out, quick in a hurry to get Dylan Moyan back on the field. Absolutely, and then you know, offense really, uh, you know, we did move the ball um, and then you know didn't really do anything with it, but. Offense needs to get it going too as well. You know, Moran, yeah, yeah he's sixty percent passing, but thirty-three yards. Uh, like I said during halftime, uh, if I'm if I'm the offense coordinator, we're throwing it forty times. Not only because we're down twenty-one nothing. Yes, uh, you know, you, you you like to run the game. To, I mean, run the ball to set up the pass. Uh, you know, most teams are, are, you know, that's how they they function. You right. You run the ball to set the pass. But you remember, you know, we're both Saints fans. If you remember correctly, the Saints used to, you know, they would throw the ball to set up the run. Yeah. Know? And I think that's where this Hancock uh, offense needs to go. You know, they need to start throwing the ball to set up the run. And looks like got some extracurricular activities between the Panthers and the Hawks. After the kickoff return, they get uh, stopped at the 40-yard line. So, I didn't see a flag thrown, but first and 10 Panthers at their 40. See if the Hawks defense made some adjustment, adjustments in the half to stop this uh, Pascagoula offense who's been rolling. Quarterback in the shotgun. Roll, roll. Oh, this is a double pass. Oh, I don't even know how to describe that, really. It was a handoff to Isaiah Ben. Ben pitches it to the wing back, coming in motion back that way. Wing back throws it back to the quarterback for uh, like a. Uh, and might have been a loss of one on the play by Zach Galan. 
And it's going to bring up second and 11 for the Hawks. Hawks looking over to the sideline for the uh, for the play call. Ball in in the shotgun. Running back to his left. Two receivers to the left. Receivers on the wide side of the field. Hand off to Mason Kramer right in the left end. Kramer. Might have picked up two. Going to be third and long for the Hawks. And that's going to be the end of the third quarter. So Hawks. You know, first in the first half, throw it ten times, eight times in the third quarter, six of eight in the third quarter, and you know they don't stick with the pass game. So we'll be right back after these messages. Are you or someone you know looking to take your education to the next level? Pearl River Community College can help. Whether you're looking for a true college experience or you want to jumpstart your career, Pearl River has you covered. PRCC strives to remain affordable and accessible to help you regardless of where you are on life's journey. With face-to-face, -face, hybrid, and online courses, Pearl River meets you where you are. Visit prcc.edu slash admissions or call 601-403-1000 to rise with the river. All right, welcome back, Hawk fans. This is Aaron Underwood. This is Andre Underwood. And the Hawks flip the field. 12 minutes left in this game, and then it's playoffs next week. And it looks like, Dre, you got the scores up. Can you pull them up? Uh, looks like we're probably yeah. going to be, what, going to Brandon? Currently, Brandon's leading Pearl 14 to 12. Ooh. And then you have Warren Central beating Meridian 17 nothing, and Oak Grove beating Northwest Rankin 35-10. Okay, so 12 minutes left in this game. Uh, obviously, you know, it's going to be tough to score 21 points in a quarter, but it can be done. Uh, if Hancock, if Dylan Moran and the Hawks can score right here, uh, it's third and long. They can score on this, this drive and get a stop, a couple stops and score. We can be back in this game. Moran in the shotgun, man in motion. Moran rolling right. Looking to throw. Rolls back left. Pulls it down. And going to be knocked out of bounds for a one-yard one loss. Did he have a man, Dre? Couldn't tell. Did he have a man open? Uh, he might have for a split second, I think, maybe. but So fourth and 12 for the throw. Hawks after the third and 11. So, fourth and long for the Hawks. Moran in the shotgun. Need to get to about the eight-yard line for a first down. Looking to throw. Throws the corner out. And goes incomplete. Looks like it could have. I don't know. Looks like it could have been uh, pass I mean, uh, uh, pass interference. But flag wasn't thrown. Referees letting these guys play tonight. And... Pascagoula takes over. It looks to appear that Tanner Ladner is shaking up. He's walking around the back of the end zone very slowly. Well, Pascagoula with a 21-0 lead on the road. Makes you wonder where this Pascagoula team has been all year. Um, you know, putting up 50 last week and now 21 on the road. Three and six on the season. They're playing way better than a three and six team. And a couple of missed tackles, and it looks like Isaiah Ben is going to take it and get slowed up. And see if they, they said he fought. Hancock thinks he fumbled, but they calling him down. And that was a, about a 55, 60 yard run right there by Isaiah Ben. Listen, 
Throw out. Quarterback in the shotgun. That's quarter. Hand it off to Ben again. Ben, after the long run, picks up another eight, nine yards, maybe. So about seven, second and three for the Pascagoula Panthers. Running back to the right side of the quarterback. Quarterback looking over to the sideline for the call. Gets the snap. Looking to throw. Throws the out route. Complete. And going to be a first down pass to Gula. Might have been right at the 10 or right outside of the 10. I think they got it right. I think it's right at the 10. Going to be first and goal pass to Gula. Quarter in the shotgun. Man in motion. Left to right. Hand off to Ben up the middle. Ben runs a guy over into the end zone. And it's going to be a touchdown. Isaiah Ben and the Pascagoula Panthers go up 27-0 on the road here in Kill, Mississippi at Brett Favre Field. And the Hawks just don't have an answer for Isaiah Ben and the Pascagoula Panther offense. Hawks struggling all night. And we'll be right back after these messages. First Place Express Car Wash in Picayune would like to say a huge thank you to their loyal customers. First Place Express Car Wash is happy to serve their local community with two locations, Highway 11 North, just past Coast Electric, and on Highway... 